asked today, a question that viewers around the nation will be watching. The question is one that you'll want to listen carefully to, and the answers as well, because one day you may be asked a similar question. The question is this, what does the birth of Jesus mean to you? Well, here we are. Oh, a businessman's coming. Sir, uh, sir, would you mind asking, uh, answering a question for us for our viewers across the nation? Uh, station JESUS. Well, I don't have much time with the chatty. Well, that's really a quick question. The question is this. What does the birth of Jesus mean to you? Oh, you couldn't have asked a better question. I'm the owner of the department store over there. We plan our whole year around the Christmas buying season. That's when we really rake in the money. Why, I have more people employed, more people shopping, more items sold at Christmas time than at any other time of the year. Well, that is very good, but what about the birth that's, of Jesus? That's just what I'm saying. If it hadn't been for that one birth, we wouldn't stay in business. Well, uh, thank you very much, sir. Okay, well, that is quite interesting indeed. Oh, here comes someone now. Hello, ma'am. This is Station JESUS, and we're conducting live interviews here in Melbourne. Would you mind answering a quick question for us? Oh, okay. Then if I could just put these down. I've been shopping all day long. I'm so tired. My feet are killing me. I want to sit down and take my shoes off, and I've just got to keep going. What, what was your question? Well, uh, what does the birth of Jesus mean to you? I suppose it's something I should give some thought to someday, but well, I suppose that's why I'm doing shopping, buying presents for everyone. It's lovely to buy presents, and I've got to buy something really special for my husband's mother, and my son really wanted a stereo this Christmas, but we really can't afford it. I'll have to get him something she says nice instead. Hmm, well, what, what do you think sets the pace that you follow during the season? I, I really don't know hardly what I'm doing, let alone what to think. I'm going to get going now before the shop's closed. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. Well, we certainly are having some inter interesting interviews today. Oh, here come some students. Let's ask them. Hello, this is Station JESUS. We're conducting live interviews here in Melbourne, and we would like to know what you think or what the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ means to you. Would you like to give us your opinion on that? Well, that is the question. What does the birth of Jesus mean to you? Well, haven't you heard? We're really not supposed to be talking about the issue of church and state, of religious things around the school. It's a contentious issue. After all, we've had to change the name of our traditional Christmas holiday to summer holiday. Well, I see you're a teacher. You certainly must have some opinion on the matter. Well, yes. After all, as a history teacher, I think the birth of Jesus is very important. It's had an influence on a lot of people. It's affected the thinking of a lot of people. Let's take the calendar, for instance. The calendar starts with the birth of Jesus. Well, do other teachers share your thoughts? I suppose so, but we live in a day of different views, different attitudes. Look, I really must be going. I need to grade these papers before summer holidays. I don't like them too well over summer holidays. Okay, thank you very much, sir. And how about you? Do you have some thoughts on that? Sure I do. <laughs> of course I do. I'm on my way to a party for cheerleaders. We're exchanging gifts. I understand gift giving started at the birth of Jesus. Weren't there some shepherdess and wise men or something? I think I've even heard about a drummer boy in there. I'm glad there's a Christmas. It makes life more fun. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, I don't want to be like a party. Okay, well we wouldn't want you to miss it. Thank you very much. And how about you? Do you have anything to add? I especially like the break of school, no papers to turn in, no reports due, and stuff like that. I'm glad Jesus was born if we wouldn't have any holidays otherwise. Okay, well that's very good. Well, we are having some interesting thoughts. Oh, here comes someone now. <laughs> well, sir, uh, we're with Station JESUS, and we're conducting live interviews here in Melbourne. Uh, oh, we're asking... really on TV. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, sure. Just <laughs> my mum, my dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we're asking a question. Uh, the question is this. What does the birth of Jesus mean to you? Oh, that's when, you know, I go down to the sand and the surf and have a good time this time. You know, that's where the action's at, you know what I mean? Well, but, but what about the birth of Jesus? Uh, I'm not one of those religious people, you know, I don't go to church. Um, it's all right for you to believe in all that stuff, but as long as I get my four weeks holiday at the end of the year, and I go down on the beach and have a good time and have parties and everything, it's all right for me if you have that birthday. Yeah, well, go. okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well... Oh, here comes.
Brooks a couple now. Let's ask them. Uh, pardon me. Uh, we're with station JESUS. We're conducting live interviews here in Melbourne, and we have a question that we'd like to ask you if we may. Question? Yes. <clears throat> sure. But first, could you answer a question for me? Look, this is my pay packet for this week. How am I supposed to make it end, you know, to make all the ends meet? Look, I've got bills here. All I see is bills, 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 dollar signs, dollar signs. And you probably don't even know, because you work for a TV station, you get a big pay packet every week. <laughs> I, work in, I work in the foundry. I get very little money. Then I've got kids at home. How am I going to make it meet? Look, you, you tell him. I've got to make this thing balance for money. Well, thank you, sir. Okay, the question is this. What does the birth of Jesus mean to you? Well, that's an important question indeed. I've been trying to interest my family in the spiritual side of Christmas. I've decorated the house and we play Christmas music and I put out the manger scene. But I guess we're caught up in the commercialism like everybody else. They just don't seem to be interested in the spiritual side. I was thinking just today of years gone by when my Sunday school teacher would open up the Bible and, and read the beautiful story of Christmas to us. It really felt like I was reliving the events. It would seem so real, 